Congratulations, class of 2017. You made it. Today, at this graduation, we all are on top of the world. You should be proud of your accomplishments as I am of mine. Don't stop learning, keep believing in yourself, accept help from others, and most important, enjoy the journey. Don't settle for average in anything. Do something you enjoy. No job is all fun and games, you all know that. There are always trade-offs. But if you do something you enjoy, the broccoli goes down pretty easily next to the ice cream. Don't waste this precious chance that you have to make a difference. The opportunities are everywhere. You just need to find them and go get them. Congratulations, class of 2017. You made it. <laughs> In keeping with the spirit of this auspicious ceremony, and out of respect for all of our graduates, please place your cell phones on silent. During the ceremony, you can use your cell phones on silent to share your experience on social media. The hashtag for this year's commencement is pound BCC 17, okay? I don't think I've ever said that before. <laughs> hashtag BCC 17. Furthermore, out of courtesy, I ask that all our graduates return to your seats after crossing the stage and remain there until the end of the ceremony. Finally, I'd ask the audience to remain in their seats and keep the aisles free with, throughout the ceremony. Because of safety and security concerns, only those with college credentials will be permitted to approach the stage. The college has a photographer on stage to capture photos of your graduate. And I will be available during the reception in the Commonwealth Center afterward to take photos with each graduate. Please remain in your seats throughout the ceremony. Now I am pleased to introduce Ariana Banquito Chavez, a member of the class of 2017, who will sing the Star Spangled Banner. Ariana will be joined by Deaf Study graduates Jocelyn Conduits and Paige Chartier. Please stand. Ariana. <laughs> Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Who's brought stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight? Or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the, for the land of the free and the Class of 2017, Ariana.
Thank you. <clears throat> On behalf of the Bristol Community College Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, and the class of 2017, I am pleased to open the 50th annual commencement exercises of Bristol Community College. For your information, those on the platform who will speak will be introduced from the stage. Please refer to the seating chart in your program to identify all the members of the platform party. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Joseph Marshall, BCC alum and chair of the Board of Trustees. Chairman Marshall. Thank you. Thank you. Under the, the, each year under the law of the Commonwealth, a student trustee elected by the student body joins the, bo the Board of Trustees. We've been most fortunate to have Mr. Samuel Lima as the student representative during this past year. In his role as trustee, he served as liaison between the board and the student body. He was active and diligent in his role as the student voice at our table, and all students benefited from his hard work, his skill, and his advocacy for Bristol Community College. I've worked very closely with Sam, wonderful representative. Thank you, Samuel, and best wishes from all of us. Dr. Sprager. Please welcome the mayor of the city of Fall River, the Honorable Jezreel Korea II, to bring greetings from the city of Fall River. Mayor Korea. Good afternoon. On behalf of the city of Fall River and all of my partners in government, we want to congratulate this class of 2017. You made it. And it's quite fitting, it's quite fitting that if you uh, follow the city's, um, the city's new slogan, it's make it here. And I want to let you all know that you have made it here at BCC, and we are so proud in each and, of each and every one of you. Give yourselves a round of applause, give your families a round of applause, your teachers, your friends. And thank you to the BCC staff and, of course, President Sprague, who's going to be retiring at the end of the year. Let's give him a huge round of applause. Thank you, President, for everything you've done for BCC. Best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mayor Correa. Honored guests, faculty, staff, family, friends, and most especially the class of 2017. It is my privilege to welcome you to this commencement. Every graduating class is special, but of particular note this year is that you are the 50th anniversary graduating class. You are the crowning celebration this year as we complete our year-long recognition of the college's 50th anniversary. Congratulations. We're all very proud of you and your considerable accomplishments. It is through your intellect, your endurance, your drive, and your stamina that you are here today. Let's stay for a moment with those themes of initiative and persistence. Not everyone understands or appreciates the mission of community colleges to provide access through our cherished principle of the open door as well as outstanding quality and affordability. I want to illustrate for you how important persistence is, as well as the educational opportunities available at Bristol Community College. Now let's try an experiment. I invite all the graduates who are the first in their families to attend any college or university to stand. First in your family. Please remain standing. Please remain standing. These are the first, so-called first-generation college students. 
And please raise your hands if you are the first in your immediate family to have earned a high school diploma, GED, or HISAT. Anybody first in their family to receive a high school equivalency? Please stand. Keep, continue to stand. Congratulations to each of you. Let's hope that today, with this accomplishment, you are beginning a new cycle of educational attainment for your family and for generations to come. You are setting new precedents for all of your relatives and loved ones. Each of you is a role model. Your BCC family is very proud of you. Now please remain standing. In addition, community colleges are commonly referred to as two-year colleges, but I wonder how true that is. Would all of the graduates please stand and join those already standing? Thank you. Now, would all of the graduates who actually completed your academic goal in just two years please sit? <laughs> Are we really a two-year institution? Would all of the graduates who completed in three years please sit? Still plenty standing. But is this two to three year window, which is a national standard, really a fair performance measure for either Bristol Community College or these, or these persevering students that you still see standing? Each of these students has a heartwarming story of success to tell to those so-called external experts and critics. Of those still standing, how many of you completed your goal at BCC in five years or less? Please sit. <laughs> not everybody, not everybody. How about 10 years or less? 10 years or less. Not everybody. How about 15 years, less than 15 years? Anybody? Still people standing. Thank you very much. How about 20 years? 20 years? Still standing. Congratulations. You can say thank you. Now, please raise your hands to the following questions. How many of you work full-time or part-time while pursuing your studies here? 85% or more. How many of you have children? All right. Any grandparents in the class? Yeah, all right. Any great-grandparents? Any great-grandparents? All right. Congratulations. As you can see, it's a misnomer to describe community colleges as two-year institutions. Community college students who have the goal of earning a degree or certificate or specialized training and actually do so, irrespective of the amount of time on task, deserve high praise not criticism. Do we really want to begin closing the open door just to satisfy some imagined best beat the clock standard set by so-called external experts? For all that you have accomplished, you did not travel alone. It is only through the support of others that accompanied you on your journey, and you've been able to come to this day. First, I want to recognize the graduates' families, loved ones, and friends. You too have achieved something important today. Your loved one has achieved a goal, and like good teammates, you have been enablers that made it happen. They couldn't have done it without you. I invite the graduates to extend their appreciation to these special supportive people in their lives.
Another team who supported you in your journey is comprised of our BCC faculty and staff. They challenged you, drove you, and made you work harder than perhaps you have ever worked before. But in the process, they changed you. They believed in you, even when at times you may not have even believed in yourself. Both in and out of the classroom, you encountered their collective commitment to nurture and to challenge. Simply put, BCC faculty and staff are the best. Their commitment to instruction and instructional support, the main thing and our two highest priorities at BCC, sets our great institution apart in the world of higher education. They believe in your success. Faculty you, you, faculty, you have heard me say many times that you are the most important part of this institution. A learning institution is only as good as its faculty. Your creativity informs your teaching. Your enthusiasm for learning infects your students. You teach and you inspire. Would the faculty and staff please rise and be recognized for their crucial role in the reason for today's celebration? Thank you. Thank you, faculty and staff. Graduates, this great institution has provided you not with all the knowledge that you will ever need, but rather with the appreciation of the learning process itself and an understanding all that remains yet undone. The world continues to change at a rapidly accelerating and dizzying pace. You must keep up in this age of lifelong learning for your own good and for that of this society. Yet you bring a re renaissance of hope with you. I frequently proclaim that our goal at BCC is not simply to produce for the Commonwealth good citizens who are informed. Rather, our purpose is to produce informed citizens who make ethical choices. Today, there is an anxious need out there for you to demonstrate those wonderful qualities that you have learned at BCC. Seize those opportunities and always maintain your moral compass. Graduate, as you launch the next phases of your life journey, you have our very best wishes and each of you will always remain a valued member of our BCC family. Remember, wherever you go, you carry the BCC flag. Congratulations, graduates, class of 2017. The Commonwealth Honors Program at Bristol Community College offers qualified students with enhanced opportunities for academic enrichment. These students have met the graduation requirements of the Commonwealth Honors Program, a BCC program that has earned special recognition from the state. They are recognized today as Commonwealth Honors Program scholars and are wearing green and gold cords. Will these Honors Program graduates please stand and be recognized? Honors Program, congratulations. Thank you, congratulations. Service learning and civic engagement at Bristol Community College incorporates students in community volunteer activities for academic credit. Students who have performed a number of service learning and civic engagement projects and have served as project leaders are designated as community service leaders and entitled to wear the distinctive red cord which symbolizes their service. Will this year's service learning and civic engagement leaders please stand and be recognized? Thank you for your service. I am also very pleased to recognize a number of graduates who have received transfer merit scholarships from a number of colleges and universities. Would all graduates who have received transfer scholarships please stand? Transfer scholarship. We offer each of you our heartiest congratulations. Congratulations to you. Each year at our commencement exercises, we also recognize academic excellence by honoring those students who graduate from the college with an outstanding academic record. 
students may graduate uh, cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude. To achieve summa cum laude requires a minimum grade point average of 3.8 out of a possible 4.0. This year, a number of graduates have actually earned a perfect record, a straight A 4.0 average for their entire career at BCC. Will these 4.0 graduates please stand to be recognized? 4.0. Congratulations. Amazing achievement. Thank you. I would now like to call upon Joseph Marshall, Chair of the Board of Trustees, who will present the 2017 Bristol Community College Distinguished Citizen Award. Chair Marshall. Thank you, Dr. Sprague. Each year, the Board of Trustees honors an individual who has made a distinguished contribution in the field of health, education, business, labor, government, or the arts, and whose character and achievements have enriched the life of our community. This year, the board has selected Fall River Chief of Police, Daniel S. Racine. Chief Racine. Yeah. Allow me to read this, uh, Chief. A 30-year uh, veteran of the Fall River Police Department, you have moved through the ranks from patrolman to police chief. As police chief, you led the critical initiatives resulting in a three-year drop in violent crimes, particularly shots fired, which have fallen by more than 60 percent since 2011. Your exemplary leader, thank you. Thank you. Your exemplary leadership and strong collaboration with our federal law enforcement partners have made Fall River and beyond safer for all of our citizens. You have deep roots in the community, beginning with your days as a Talbert Tiger, uh, a respected alumnus of Bristol Community College, uh, year of 92, to a beat cop in the Flint section of Fall River, from day-to-day -day crime fighting and high-profile cases to snowstorms, floods, and hurricanes, you have fostered mutual trust, civility, and respect throughout your department and the region. You are known as a great communicator who is frank, open, thoughtful, and supportive. Your undivided commitment to officers, staff, and community reinforced your goal to achieve the best trained, best equipped, and best led police agency in the world. As an outstanding citizen, your character, leadership, sensitivity illustrate the effects that one man can wield on a society's most challenging issues. Given this third day of June 2017 in Fall River, Massachusetts, Daniel S. Racine. This year, we are honoring two of our outstanding faculty members for their excellence in teaching and community service by designating each of them Professor Emeritus. Unfortunately, neither could be with us today for personal reasons, but I did want to acknowledge uh, the importance of this award, uh, peer, peer selected uh, by a committee of faculty, Professors David Owen and Gabriel Pereira. Professors Emeritus. As I mentioned, it's important to note that faculty peers select these individuals for this honor. The citation for Professor Emeritus David Owen reads, from the classroom to the night sky, 
You have created a sense of wonder and awe for your students. Since beginning your service at Bristol Community College as a laboratory technician for chemistry, you establish yourself as a role model and beloved instructor, making challenging science object, subjects accessible to students for all learning capabilities. Your character, wisdom, and stellar sense of humor help to make you a sought after expert at the college. Your kindness and resolute commitment to your profession earned you the high esteem of your colleagues. Throughout your career, you have captivated and expanded student minds. You have encouraged learners to not only observe the tenets of your own world, but also boldly ponder beyond the stars. Professor Emeritus David Owen, <laughs> Professor of Astronomy and Biology. The citation for Professor Emeritus Gabe Pereira reads as Professor Emeritus of History. For over four decades at Bristol Community College, your passion for history and commitment to students have informed every course you have taught. You have instilled the same joy in learning that you exemplified as the college's first valedictorian in 1968. As a mentor and innovative thinker, you continually encourage improved teaching and learning through your development of intriguing and relevant coursework. You always demanded the best from our students and yourself. You succeeded in teaching them not only the history of the world around them, but also the application of this knowledge in an insightful and thought-provoking way. Because of your dedication to fostering intellectual growth, vision, and civic engagement, your students have engaged in opportunities to impact our society for generations to come. Professor Emeritus Gabriel Perrault. The John J. Spraga PhD Exemplary Service Award is given to a past or present member of the Board of Trustees, Foundation Board of Directors, Alumni Association, or any other volunteer who has demonstrated exemplary service and dedication to the ideals and accomplishments of the college and has made a significant contribution to the continued excellence of Bristol Community College. The recipient of this year's Exemplary Service Award is James T. Grady, Esquire. Attorney Grady, would you please come forward? You have contributed time, talent, energy, and knowledge to this great institution. Attorney Grady has served with distinction on the BCC Board of Trustees and the BCC Foundation Board. He was elected Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees and reappointed to that position until his gubernatorial appointment ended in 2015. He served on the Finance and Audit Committee and as Chair of the Facilities Committee. Attorney Grady has a lengthy history of strong support for the college, including a significant financial gift in memory of his late wife, Barbara, in 2002, which established the Grady Dining Room in support of BCC's Culinary Arts Program. Bristol Community College continues to be grateful for his extraordinary talents and contributions during the years of his service and beyond. Attorney James Grady. Congratulations. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. Thank you. College invites students with the highest academic accomplishments to be considered for the roles of valedictorian and salutatorian. The selection honors those who, through their excellent academic record and college and community service, represent the highest values of BCC. This year's salutatorian is Samuel Lima in the Engineering Science Transfer Program. Samuel is headed for Cornell University in the fall. And 
and has earned a national prestigious Jack Kent Cook National Scholarship. Congratulations, Trustee Samuel Lima. This year's valedictorian is Tracy Cooley in the nursing program. <laughs> Tracy Cooley, the class of 2017 valedictorian, is graduating with a degree in nursing. She has been accepted to the UMass Dartmouth RN to BS program. Tracy proudly served in the United States Army as a combat medic stationed in Germany. It was during this time supporting soldiers and their families that she first became interested in helping others as a medical professional. After returning home, she worked in the technology field for a national construction company for 14 years before enrolling at BCC as an adult lawyer to pursue her dream of becoming a nurse. She credits her accomplishments with the college's professors who truly care about students and their success and her husband and two sons for their support. Please welcome the class of 2017 valedictorian, Tracy Cooley. Thank you for your service. I'm a little intimidated as I look out at everyone, and I'm instantly regretting not taking that public speaking class. <laughs> I'd like to start by congratulating all the graduates on your accomplishments today. You should be proud. Also, I'd like to thank all the family and friends for their support. Without you, we would not have been able to complete this milestone. There are endless benefits to a community college, which is why I love BCC. It's affordable, has a wide variety of classes, even offer online classes to fit our busy lives. Anyone can attend, current high school students, recent graduates, or adults of any age looking to start a career or make a change. You can take just one class, or you can pursue a certificate or degree program. You can go part-time or full-time. You can transfer to a four-year school or start a career after completing your degree. What I love most about BCC is the diversity of the students. We are all different ages, come from different cultural and socioeconomic backgrounds, enrolled in many different majors, and all of us have a different goal of what we'd like to accomplish. I feel as valedictorian of the class of 2017, I represent many different groups. As I tell you a little about myself, I hope you can relate to something I have to share. I am an adult learner, as many of you are. I attended my first college class over 25 years ago, but I didn't get far before my life took another path. My journey to get to this stage may have not have consisted of all formal education, however, it did consist of learning. After graduating Dartmouth High School, I dabbled in college as an art major in New York City, but I really did not know what I wanted to do when I grew up. So I took a few years off, moved to California to explore my options. I then decided to join the United States Army and served four years as a combat medic in Germany. It was during these years that I developed a strong work ethic, formed a camaraderie with my fellow soldiers, and met my husband, Mike. We started a family, and I am now the proud mom of two teenage sons who keep me busy. <laughs> to all the parents graduating today, know that you have made a positive impact on your kids' lives. You may have missed a few of the activities due to your college obligations, but take solace in knowing that at the core of your efforts, your children have learned strength and perseverance from you. 
Those attributes cannot be taught, only instilled. So take the pride that, in that you, while you have been learning, you have also been leading by example. I have also learned so much from my kids. They are my inspiration. Dylan, you are truly brilliant. You can do anything you put your mind to. I am sure you'll make your journey interesting since you are hilarious and always keep me on my toes. My husband, Mike, is not here today. He is in Ohio with our oldest son, Austin, who is currently competing in the World Wrestling Team Trials. I miss having them here, but I hope they're watching. Austin, I know you are doing some amazing things while pursuing your dream. I believe in you. You have the determination to achieve, achieve any goal you set for yourself. Even if it takes a few tries, you never give up. While raising my kids, I worked in technical support for a national construction company. I loved troubleshooting problems and providing customer service. I just wanted more. I decided it was time to go back to school, so I started towards my degree here at BCC during the fall 2013 semester. Almost four years later, I am graduating from the nursing program with my first college degree at the age of 43. My message here today is to continue to work towards your goals, and it doesn't matter how long it takes. Just stay on your path, and even if it takes a few twists and turns along the way. What I've learned from my life experience, especially during the last two years in this incredibly difficult nursing program, is that successful people lift others up. I encourage you to take what you have learned here and pay it forward. Use your knowledge to help others and make positive changes in your community. I have developed some amazing lifelong friendships here, and without my supportive classmates, I would not have been able to complete this program. I met Rachel during nursing orientation. I just remember thinking she was so full of energy, talking a mile a minute, and the complete opposite of me. <laughs> I was afraid I would not fit in. To my surprise, we became best friends, talk on the phone daily, and balance each other perfectly. There are so many others that I'd love to mention, but they only gave me eight minutes. You all know who you are, and I love you. I have so much respect for all the staff and professors here at BCC. They truly do care about our success. The Veterans Affairs Office helped me with financial benefits, and as students, you know, every dollar counts. The staff at Career Services provided assistance with my resume. They know how to highlight your accomplishments and experience to really make it shine. They're, these are just a few of the services BCC offers their students and alumni. All of my professors aided in my success, and I would not be here without them. From my very first professor who gave me the confidence I needed to the nursing professors who I will cherish for the rest of my life. The first year nursing professors are nurturing. They provided us with a foundation and the confidence needed to succeed with the overwhelming amount of information they threw at us. The second year nursing professors provided us with tough love because they needed us to be prepared for the real world. They constantly told us to critically think. We all perfected that skill. It was tested during every exam. I am thankful they were tough because the next step for us is passing our license exam. I feel we, as BCC graduates, are prepared for this and beyond. I will be continuing my education at UMass Dartmouth this fall in their RN to BS program. BCC has turned me into a lifelong learner and I am forever grateful. Back when I graduated basic training, I was on top of the world. I felt like I could do anything. When I joined the Army, 
I don't think there was anyone who thought I could do it, including myself. I was not athletic, I never ran, and I was terrified of heights. But I didn't let fear or doubt stop me. I had to run every day in formation. It was painful. I couldn't let my fellow soldiers down, so I had to keep going. I also climbed up that rickety wooden tower on the obstacle course. I couldn't stop. And after repelling down the other side, I was proud that I did something, even though I was afraid. Don't let fear stop you from achieving your next goal. Today, at this graduation, we all are on top of the world. You should be proud of your accomplishments, as I am of mine. We can do anything. This degree is important, so don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Identify your own definition of success and what you want to achieve after BCC. Don't stop learning. Keep believing in yourself. Accept help from others. And most important, enjoy the journey. Bristol Community College changes the world by changing lives, learner by learner. I am thankful how BCC has changed my life, and I look forward to doing my part, giving back to my community while working as a nurse, and I hope to inspire others to follow their dream. I want to end with a quote from Maya Angelou. My mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive, and to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. Thank you. Tracy Cooley, ladies and gentlemen, valedictorian. I am pleased now to introduce Johanna Morales, Student Senate President. Each year, the Bristol Community College Student Senate honors one of many outstanding faculty members who has affected students, education, and their lives in a meaningful way. Nominations requiring detailed information about the educator's role are solicited from all potential graduating students. The selected faculty member is presented with the last lecture award. It is my honor to present to you this year's recipient, Joanne Carol Connor, Instructor in Business Administration. Wow, wow. First, I want to thank the students who nominated me, and believe me, this is a huge honor around here. I feel especially privileged as an adjunct faculty member, as a member of the Enrollment Services, and as a graduate of Bristol Community College. I love this view. I am part of a team of great people who organize and work commencement every year, and this never gets old. It is truly our favorite day, and you look great. I want to thank you for coming to this celebration. Sometimes we have to convince students to come. They're working or they have other obligations, and some seem uncomfortable, like they don't want or feel they deserve the recognition. Well, I will meet students who didn't come today, and they'll regret it. But I rarely meet anybody who didn't, weren't glad that they were here today. But then again, I haven't finished all of my speech. At a community college, everybody wears multiple hats, don't we? And we're all juggling. Whether it was a weekend class in New Bedford or 8 o'clock in Attleboro, walking out of K Building's computer lab at 10 o'clock at night, or at one of the three or four Taunton campuses that we've worked at, fitting in studying and work and family, you kept going. There are no wimps here. So here's the part where I am supposed to bestow some lasting words of wisdom and enlightenment on you. 
Well, at some attempts at research, including a stop at the Hallmark Cards at CVS, I decided to go back to the last lecture, the lecture I give at the beginning of each semester. First, do the hard stuff first. As kids, we came home with homework in three subjects, say, English, history, and math. We love the English, we like the, uh, we like the history, but we hate the math. Now, the math folks are gonna be going, oh, it's always us, it's always us. I am sorry. I was going to use English, but they outnumber us. <laughs> so what subject did we do first? Well, we did the English, of course, followed by the history, and then when it was late and we were tired, we tried to talk, tackle the math. Not only that, sometimes we even went back to the English who said, oh, I like this, I'll read it again and again. <laughs> well, don't study the stuff you already know. As adult learners, you don't have the time and you certainly won't have the energy. Don't do what you always do. Don't think the way you always think. Don't listen to the same voices all the time. New stuff is hard, but that's where the gain and the glory is. Second, when you start the semester, do the best you can at the very beginning. You know the hardest part of flying is when the plane is taking off. If you don't start with the best mindset, with the commitment to do well, and the most effort, you'll be like that plane that never quite gets to the altitude it needs. You'll struggle through the semester, always intending to catch up. And then you hit some turbulence, work, family, health. You won't finish, or you'll finish poorly. You run out of time, and the semester's over. But if you do well at the start, you may lose some air, but you'll finish better. Remember that the final grade is an average. So whether you may not have done as well as you had hoped, you can certainly have a fairly good ending. Third, find your niche, that place and time that belongs to you to finish your homework and to look at the new material. For some of you, it may be five o'clock in the morning while the family's still asleep and the world hasn't got to you yet. Maybe it's in the car while the daughter's at soccer practice. But find that niche so you can have the space for the new and the sublime. One last assignment. You have given me this wonderful moment and soon it will be your turn. I want every student who crosses this stage to feel the support and the pride from all of us today. So I will ask each one of you to return to your seat after your moment. And then when that last student crosses the stage, I want you to yell a cheer that can be heard in every corner of Bristol Community College's uh, uh, cities. Because from the first to the middle to the last. We are Bristol. I am. I am so proud of you. Good luck and God bless. Thank you, Joe. Great job. Thank you. Joanne Cowell Connor, ladies and gentlemen. The Massachusetts Department of Higher Education has granted Bristol Community College the right to award in an honorary associate degree in humane letters. The college awards this degree to an individual or individuals who illustrate through a career of intellect and service the best of Bristol Community College's vision to change the world learner by learner. I am pleased to announce that this year's recipients, we have two, are Reverend Dr. Robert P. Lawrence and Charles D. Baker, Governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Will Reverend Dr. Lawrence please come forward? Yeah, I can. Okay. 
Reverend Lawrence is Pastor Emeritus of the First Congregational Church in Fall River and well known for decades of commitment to the community. He serves on numerous boards and is a generous benefactor of many community organizations, including Bristol Community College. Reverend Lawrence is a member of BCC's Capital Campaign Cabinet and the 1995 recipient of BCC's Distinguished Citizen Award. His impressive influence also extends to the international stage. Reverend Lawrence served as chaplain for the 100th Titanic Anniversary Memorial Service in 2012 and served in the same capacity at the Pearl Harbor Memorial in 2015 and 2016. Also the 2012 Summer Olympics in London and the 2010 Winter Games in Vancouver. Reverend Lawrence received the Lifetime Achievement Award from President Obama in 2015. His long history of distinguished service exemplifies the values and mission of Bristol Community College. The citation reads, the Board of Trustees of Bristol Community College awards the honorary associate degree in humane letters to Reverend Dr. Robert P. Lawrence. Reverend Lawrence, congratulations. To the board of directors and to our esteemed president of Bristol Community College, I could not be more grateful for this day of recognition for the love that we have of that middle word in your label of this school, the community that we're all here to serve. And in your area of education, it can't get any better than that. Thanks, Jack, and thanks to the board, and to all of you, continue to follow your bliss. Thank you. I was teasing him earlier, uh, Dr. Lawrence has uh, the benefit now of a Yale education and a BCC degree. Can't get any better than that, right? <laughs> and now we have someone with a Harvard education, but now getting a BCC degree. Uh, and I would ask uh, Governor Baker to please come forward. <laughs> Charles Baker, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Governor Baker is a champion for BCC and a great supporter of the Massachusetts public higher education system, including programs such as Commonwealth Commitment, Mass Transfer, the Commonwealth Dual Enrollment Partnership, and the Commonwealth Honors Program. Ensuring Massachusetts continues to be a national leader in education, Governor Baker has invested more than $4.6 billion, with a B, in, cha in Chapter 70 education funding the highest level of edu local education aid in state history. Because of his unwavering support, BCC has unveiled the largest solar parking pa canopy in New England, received funding for offshore wind and life science research projects, and celebrated the opening of the new health and science building. Therefore, the Board of Trustees awards Governor Baker an honorary associate degree in humane letters. The citation reads, the Board of Trustees of Bristol Community College awards the honorary associate degree in humane letters to G Charles D. Baker, Governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Please help me to celebrate with Governor Charles Baker. There you are, my friend. I'll get a picture, I'll get a picture over here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's going to put that down. 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 He's going to put that down
probably going to have to stay on a, step on the chair to get up there. <laughs> it is a great honor to have Governor Baker here today, not only to accept his honorary degree, but also to address the graduates. I am grateful for his presence, especially at my last commencement here at BCC. And I am particularly grateful that the governor has agreed to address our graduates. Please join with me to welcome a great champion for education, Governor Charlie Baker. Thank you, Jack. So, it's now good afternoon by a minute. I want to thank everybody for giving me this opportunity to be here today. I also have to say to, uh, to Sam and Tracy, as I was listening to the rundowns on their various accomplishments in life and professional and educational experiences and success, I got to say I was feeling pretty inadequate. <laughs> Sam, good luck to you. And Tracy, that was a wonderful speech. And God bless. And thank you for your service. Now, before I start my remarks, I think I ought to deal with the elephant in the room, which is that this is Jack Sprague's last commencement. I gotta, I gotta admit, Jack, I don't know a lot of people who get a building named after them when they're still alive. <laughs> you are very much still alive, and you very much deserve to have that building named after you. Seventeen years of extraordinary leadership and the facts of the success of this organization during your tenure speak for themselves. But I think we should also take a minute and thank Jack for his service to our country as an Air Force pilot and especially and especially for his tireless work throughout Bristol County on workforce development, skill building, and education issues throughout the course of your exemplary career. And I, I also have to say that as the father of a son who went to Union College, I want to personally thank Jack for choosing Union for your undergraduate degree. But mostly what I want to do is on behalf of the people of the Commonwealth, the people of Bristol County, and all the folks who have benefited from your tenure as students, as graduates, as administrators and faculty here at Bristol Community College. God bless and good luck to you. And I want to present you with this. I don't have the authority to grant any honorary degrees, so you're on your own on that one. Um, so true confessions, I've been to uh, three of my own graduations, high school, college, and graduate school. I don't remember who spoke at my high school graduation. I do know that German Chancellor Helmut Kohl spoke at my college graduation. I have absolutely no idea what he said. And I know that then General Motors CEO Roger Smith spoke at my business school graduation. And I have no idea what he said either. <laughs> so I recognize the extremely high bar that I have to climb over today to say something worthwhile and memorable to all of you. I know many of you probably got about three hours of sleep last night, and I'm all that stands between you and your diploma. <laughs> so let's try this. Here are four things I've learned during my 35 years of work that might be helpful to you. Pick one, pick two, and what the heck, pick them all. But I hope you manage to hold one of them true going forward. First, be soft on the people and hard on the issues. Good people have honest disagreements. My mom, God rest her soul, was a diehard Democrat, and my dad is a Republican. The dinner table I grew up at was a laser light show of personalities and points of view. 
and they canceled each other's votes out for 60 years. <laughs> My mom was too sick when I ran in 2014 to, to vote, but she was not sick, too sick to vote in 2010. And I said, so mom, was this the first time you and dad voted for the same person? And she just looked at me and said, well, you know, son, it is a secret ballot. <laughs> but with my parents, it was always a discussion. They could agreeably disagree, and I learned a ton from hearing all sides of almost everything they talked about. And fundamentally, I learned that discussing differences is not a war. It's a conversation. And if it's going on among people who work for the same organization or the same cause, it's doubly important to appreciate that there can be more than one point of view. And it's important to hear them all. Most of the time, people are debating means, not ends. And if I had a dime for every time someone changed my mind on what I thought was the best way something could get done, I could probably retire. Listening is also reciprocal. I listen because I want to be heard. And these days, too many people in public life want to be heard but have no interest in listening to anybody else. And as a result, no one hears what anybody else is saying, nothing gets done, and everything, everyone else turns out the whole darn thing. You know, my dad always used to say, when you see two people in a fight, you're pretty sure one of them's a jerk. The problem is you don't know which one. And my mom always used to say, you know, God gave you two ears and one mouth for a reason, so listen up. I'm 60, and I know I'm a lot smarter now than I was when I was 30. And much of that growth came from listening to people I thought I disagreed with. You simply listen to people who think the same thing you do the same way all the time, you will dramatically diminish your capacity for growth. Growth sometimes, yes, in fact, comes from conflict and discussion. And if people respect each other's points of view and have an open mind, there are huge opportunities to think differently than you thought before. And that is, in some respects, the way it should be. Second, don't let motivation con get confused with performance or effort with results. In the end, we all get measured by how we perform, and that is as it should be. When I got to Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare in 1999, nothing seemed to work, but everybody was working really hard. Everyone felt like they were doing the right things, and everyone was pretty sure the organization's troubles or somebody else's fault. We tried to point out to people that ships go down all in. There are no survivors. And if we truly wanted to succeed, everybody was going to have to find a way to play together on that teetering boat. So we started by drawing process flows. Boring, nerdy, wonky, I get that. But it really mattered with respect to taking some of the oxygen out of the blame game. How did we actually sign up a hospital, a physician group, a new employer? How do we actually pay a claim? What happened when a member called customer service? At first, there was a lot of very loud disagreement about who did what, when, why, and where. But eventually, people would come to a conclusion that, yep, that's the way we do it. And then everybody would stand back and look at it, and people's jaws would drop. No wonder we can't get anything done around here. This process is insane. People could then drop the blame game and focus instead on creating a way to work together that made sense. And while no one worked any harder than they'd been working before, they were finally getting things done. What you do is important, but how you do it is just as important. And an A plan with a C execution is a C plan, and that's the way people will perceive it. Let me give you another example. We made a decision last fall to give Uber and Lyft a shot at providing point-to-point -point service to people with disabilities through our ride program. It was a pilot. We weren't sure it would work, 
but we knew that for folks with disabilities, access to reliable, affordable transportation is oftentimes the difference between completing and not completing their education and getting and keeping a good job. Well, after 10,000 rides, we had our answer. The response to the pilot from the disability community was incredibly positive. People loved it. Now, the strategy didn't change. We were still trying to give people with disabilities a reliable source of transportation. But the operating model did. And we did it as a pilot to see if it would work or not. And it did. So now it's available to anybody who's eligible for the ride. And we know it's not for everyone, but for the folks who do use it, it's simply a much better form of transportation for them. And honest to God, people have cried and hugged me when they've talked to me about the change it's made in their ability to keep their job or get their education. And by the way, it's less expensive for the state to operate it, making it a win-win for all involved. Third, and this follows up on a point that Tracy made earlier, stretch yourself and don't be afraid to fail. The great artist Michelangelo once said, the greater danger for most of us lies not in setting our aim too high and falling short, but in setting our aim too low and achieving our mark. Anybody who does anything that matters fails at some point along the way. Failure is always an important part of success. As you may know, I ran for governor in 2010 against former Governor Deval Patrick, and I lost. But my wife Lauren and I learned a ton from the experience. Life is a learning experience. With the right attitude, failing is a learning experience too. And for Lauren and me, losing was a big learning experience. And without it, neither of us thinks I would have been successful with the run in 2014. And over the course of my professional career, I've had somewhere between 25 and 30 jobs, which might say something about whether or not I have any capacity to hold on to one. <laughs> but the point I want to make here is some of those jobs I was good at. Some of them I was not so good at. But I took the ones I was good and not so good at as learning opportunities to find a path in which I could continue to do the things I did well and try to get better at the things I clearly needed work on. You know, Thomas Edison once said, I haven't failed to make a light bulb. I just found 10,000 ways so far that don't work. Which brings me to point number four. Don't settle for average in anything. Work with people you like and respect. Do something you enjoy. No job is all fun and games, you all know that. There are always trade-offs. But if you do something you enjoy, the broccoli goes down pretty easily next to the ice cream. Be a great friend, a wonderful parent, a spectacular neighbor, a devoted partner, Tell funny stories, coach you sports, volunteer in your community, be present. Social media is an enormous distraction, we all know that. But the simple truth is, most of the time, if you focus on the person sitting next to you, you'll have a far better experience than you will just checking your Instagram account and figuring out how many people like that last picture of a cat you put up. Listen, laugh, appreciate the gifts we've all been given, and try to make the most of your time here. You close the book today on the latest chapter of your lives. The next chapter, and every chapter after that, is up to you. Please make the most of it. Don't waste this precious chance that you have to make a difference. The opportunities are everywhere. You just need to find them and go get them and take advantage of the great experience you had here at Bristol. God bless and good luck. Governor Charlie Baker, ladies and gentlemen, proud owner of a new BCC degree.
Thank you, Governor. I now present Chair of the Board of Trustees, Joseph Marshall, to authorize the conferral of degrees. Chair Marshall. Thank you. It's time already? Yeah. All right. Congratulations, graduate. This is your moment. You've arrived here through your hard work and your dedication. What you've accomplished today will continue to open doors uh, for you in the future. This day is not simply your singular accomplishment, however. The inspirational and devoted staff of BCC, your loving friends and family members, and your fellow students have contributed significantly to this great day. But is most definitely your individual determination and persistence that has brought you to this point. Take a moment, if you haven't already, to be proud of all you've accomplished. But don't think this is the end of your journey. Let it be the beginning of many new dreams and many new goals. Life has so much more in store for you, you have no idea. I graduated from Bristol Community College in 1978. It's with heavy heart that my 10-year term on the BCC Board of Trustees ends this year. This may be the last commencement as chair, but I'm sure I'll be attending for my grandchildren uh, one day. I speak from experience when I tell you that graduating from BCC will continue to be one of the proudest moments of your life. Cherish it. It has given you the foundation upon which to build a bright and promising future. On behalf of the Bristol Community College Board of Trustees, I congratulate you. Thank you. To you. As chair of the Bristol Community College Board of Trustees, I am honored to authorize Bristol Community College under the powers vested in the board, uh, by, in the board by Section 10, Chapter 15A of the General Laws of the Commonwealth to award the Associates of, in Arts, Associate in Science, Associate in Applied Science degrees, and appropriate certificates to those candidates who, in the judgment of the college, have successfully met the requirements of graduation. With that, Dr. Sprague. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Chair Marshall, for your service and the uh, Vietnam service, and also has so many years in the Foundation Board and the Board of Trustees at Bristol Community College. Proud owner of a BCC degree. <laughs> Joseph Marshall, ladies and gentlemen. And now, Vice President for Academic Affairs, Greg Sataris, will present the candidates. Would the candidates for graduation please rise? I have the honor to present these candidates for the degrees of Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, Associate in Applied Sciences, and for the certificates. I certify on behalf of the faculty that those receiving their degrees and certificates today have completed all of the requirements for each program as set forth by the college and the Board of Trustees. Thank you, Vice President Sataris. And it is now time to award the degrees. <laughs> Out of courtesy, I ask that our, all of our graduates return to your seats after crossing the stage and remain there until the end of the ceremony. Please note that no diplomas will be distributed in the Commonwealth College Center. Will the first row of graduates please come to the right side of the stage? The rest of the candidates may be seated. Graduates will cross the stage in the order indicated on the program. I also remind the audience to remain in your seats and do not approach the stage or stand in the aisles. A professional photographer will capture the graduate as he or she crosses the stage. In addition, I shall be available in the Commonwealth College Center for individual photos after the ceremony. Because of new security measures, no other photographer will be permitted to approach the platform. 
Thank you for your cooperation. Please withhold your applause until all the degrees and certificates have been awarded, although I don't know why I bother saying that. <laughs> Let's move ahead with the degrees. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Art Transfer, Mark Benito Allen, sum summa cum laude. <laughs> Kayla Marie Branson, cum laude, also receiving Art Certificate. Solomon C. Carrero, magna cum laude, also receiving Art Certificate, Graphic Design Certificate. Alexia Deluge Gouveia, cum laude, also receiving Art Certificate. Asani S. Howarth. Gabrielle H. Jones, also receiving Art Certificate. Danielle Loisel, also receiving Art Certificate. Chad Stephen Libertowitz, summa cum laude. Andrea McCarthy, cum laude, also receiving Art Certificate and Graphic Design Certificate. Mark Normington, cum laude. Melanie A. Poirier, summa cum laude. Robert Say, also receiving Art Certificate. Matthew Robert Seaman, summa cum laude. Daniel T. DePina. Brittany M. Soares. Raxa Mian Suen, magna cum laude, also receiving web design certificate. Heather Lee Stevens, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Business Administration Career. Sandro Enrico Braga, magna cum laude. Richard Arthur Cabral III, summa cum laude. Thomas Kennedy Sinelli, summa cum laude. Stephanie Elizabeth D'Souza. Colby Jillian Ferreira, magna cum laude. Maximiliano M. Galvin. Rebecca Ann Gariello, cum laude. Stephanie R. Goys. Catherine M. Henson, magna cum laude. Alyssa Marie Johnson. Heather L. McAuliffe, summa cum laude. Jacqueline K. Medeiros, cum laude. Amanda Mendonca. Jocelyn Alexis Murray. Jason Sarani Noor. Alexander R. Pacheco. Rebecca A. Peach, magna cum laude. Kelly L. Ramos, magna cum laude. Wilmar L. Saliba. Mitchell J. Santos. Courtney Patricia Street, cum laude. Linda Marie Taylor, cum laude. Callie Lynn Tessier, magna cum laude, also receiving general studies. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Business Administration Transfer, Shanice Barrett. Colin Patrick Boyd, magna cum laude. Mandy Rose Carnero. Glauco Cavalcanti, magna cum laude. Wendy Cola, cum laude. 
Racella Ann Dasher, cum laude. Kyle M. Correa. Nicole Ann DeRocher. Rosalind M. Dobem. Candice Montero Dos Dorazio. Nicole F. Doyle, magna cum laude. Marinese Exenor. Braden A. Fitch. Yasmin A. Gallardo. William Gray, magna cum laude. Scott Henry Grelish, cum laude. Moram Islam, cum laude. Perio Corn. Henry McLeod Kong, cum laude. Kimberly Kruger, cum laude. Jeffrey Magdariaga. Angelica Viana Marks. Timothy Allen McLaughlin, summa cum laude. Kevin D. Medeiros, summa cum laude. Tiffany Lynn Mello. Yvonne Faith Mezoff. Monica Fernandez Pavo, summa cum laude. Austin William Peterson. Daniel John Rodriguez, summa cum laude. Brett Michael Rudolph, cum laude. Annabelle Santiago, summa cum laude. Christopher Allen Savageo. Kayla Scott, cum laude. Wayne Sylvia, summa cum laude. Declan Neil Tabor, summa cum laude. Hope Mary Turnbull. Samantha Whitney, summa cum laude. Giovanna Gerard Rodriguez, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Clinical Laboratory Science. Caitlin Costley, cum laude. Susan F. Ducharme, cum, cum laude. Kim Lee, cum laude. Vanessa Little, cum laude. Katie Ann Moreau. Brenda A. Ritchie, summa cum laude. Marissa Russell. Amber L. Samero, magna cum laude. Desiree Soares, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of communication. David J. Civitaris. Stephen Fannis, cum laude. Victoria Brooke Kayata. Chase M. Little, magna cum laude. Jonathan David Pinot. Brianna Lee Wood. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Computer Information Systems. Blake Ayamoba. Evan Michael Costa, magna cum laude. 
Steve D'Souza, cum laude. Michael Richard D'Esso. Nicholas George Faria, cum laude, also receiving Computer Forensic Certificate. Liam Jean Green Beaupre. Kendra Lee McKay. Jared Michael Medeiros. Nicholas John Medeiros. Sarawat Mensang, summa cum laude. Jose Wilfredo Mungia, magna cum laude. Timothy J. Oldford, summa cum laude. Matthew James Oliver, cum laude. Jason A. Panero, cum laude. Joel Joseph Raposa, cum laude. Lauren M. Sameo, also receiving Microsoft Certificate Application CCATCH. Joshua M. Tingley. Jacob Matthew Vieira, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Criminal Justice and Law Enforcement Certificate. Christopher James Almeida, Jr. Joe Amaral. Tanisha Lopes Benros, magna cum laude. Justine Jasmine Brown, magna cum laude. Nicole A. Brownell, cum laude. Ciara L. DePina. Hannah M. D'Souza. Nicole Deanira Espino. Victoria L. Ferreira. Marissa Leanne Fonseca. Dorcas Mian Gabriels. Mason James Gallery. Christian J. Gomes, cum laude. Kyle L. Gomes, magna cum laude. Megan Haig, cum laude. Stanley Dale Hampton, also receiving general studies. Kim Marie Harrison. Michaela Lynn Hurley. Samantha Jean King. Bradford T. Chikevsky, Kachevsky, cum laude. Carly Lacayer, cum laude. Marilyn Martinez. Marilyn L. Martinez. Daniel Joseph Melcher. Maggie Lynn Noversa, magna cum laude. Spencer Robert Peruzzi. Wilfredo Panero Torres. Gerard Pinnell III, cum laude. Brianna Lynn Pinnall, summa cum laude. Machisti L. Rankin, cum laude. Jessica Marie Soares, cum laude. Dean R. Silvaria. Genesis K. Vasquez. Matthew Wilson. Paulina D. Vicente, cum laude. Madison J. York. 
I am pleased to announce the graduates of Culinary Arts. Erica Dawn Romhill, magna cum laude. Jasmine M. Eldridge, cum laude. Courtney Ann Cunha, cum laude. Dakota Alexis Schwedo. Kimberly C. Doe. Jessica Nicole Bolero. Kerry Richard Castelli. Rosemary L. Bodwin. Stephanie Michelle Riley. Haley N. Chase. Melanie Lee Linares. Abigail Lynn Swass, magna cum laude. Amanda L. Sutherland, cum laude. Cheyenne Taylor Pitsley, magna cum laude. Jenny Amend. Anthony G. Dillard. Mary Dawn Hanning, magna cum laude. Alyssa M. George. Irini Mavridis, magna cum laude. Amelia Fatima Moitoso, magna cum laude. Katie Pascal, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Deaf Studies, Jillian Carmel, summa cum laude. Jocelyn M. Cundis, summa cum laude. Caitlin Eleanor Thurston, cum laude. Paige S. Trottier, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Dental Hygiene. Amanda Catherine Bagania, magna cum laude. Denise Kamara, cum laude. Melissa A. Cody, magna cum laude. Jessica Elaine DiCarlo, magna cum laude. Also receiving general studies health science option. Jamie Marie Garrity, summa cum laude. Melanie Gennaro, summa cum laude. Christina E. Kelly, magna cum laude. Mallory Marie Ladogar, magna cum laude. Caitlin Hope Machado, magna cum laude, also receiving general studies health sciences. Shannon Lynn Manning, magna cum laude, also receiving general studies health science option. Christine Rose McCarney, cum laude. Alyssa Ann Medeiros, summa cum laude, also receiving general studies health science option. Samantha Marie Metevier, magna cum laude. Sydney Lee Oldroyd, cum laude. Mary Victoria Liberty Race. Leslie Ashley Rendero, cum laude. Stephanie Adolfo Silvesta, magna cum laude. Also receiving general studies health science option. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Early Childhood Education. Rachel Ann Aitkenhead, summa cum laude. Carissa Ellen Clark. Megan E. Doobie. Janali Michelle Hernandez, magna cum laude, also receiving Early Childhood Education Preschool Certificate. In Alida A. Lima, magna cum laude. Sarah Beth Matten, cum laude, also receiving early childhood education preschool certificate. Margaret A. McKenna, cum laude. Jennifer Lynn Medeiros, magna cum laude. 
Alicia Ann Milligan. Patricia Odette Oliveira. Nicole Ann Pacheco, cum laude. Hillary C. Sedensky. Robert J. Silva Gilmet. I am pleased to announce the graduates of elementary education. Kelsey Marie Cordero. Lexis Fitchenmeyer, cum laude. June Fishbach, summa cum laude, also receiving general studies. Shakina T. Hampton. Alexandra H. Medeiros. Alexis Grace Mercado, cum laude. Samantha Ray Misseldine. Nicole L. Latimer, magna cum laude. Irvin Ramos. Angela Lynn Shea, cum laude. Aaron Taylor Soares, summa cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Engineering Technology, Derek Paul Barrier, cum laude. Ilkania M. Acosta, also receiving surveying certificate. Alejandra Riasco. Alfredo L. A. Cuthbert, Jr., also receiving CAD certificate, surveying certificate. Adam Mark DeGrazia. Michael Doran. Antonio Jorge Guzman, also receiving the sur surveying certificate. Jonathan W. Redding. Jamie Patrick Robertson, cum laude. Ian James Russell, summa cum laude. Angela Marie Simmons. John A. Soika, cum laude. Gabriel Thomas Vigil. <laughs> Kevin M. Wentz, magna cum laude. Kyle Andrew Eusen. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Engineering Transfer, Louis Machado Brum. Finn Ola Burbach. Quinton Carvalho. Richard Erickson, cum laude. Adam Ronald Francoeur, summa cum laude. David S. Gerges, Lucas Tanner Hansen, summa cum laude. Drew Aaron Martins, Kyle Jason Rodericks, Nicholas Blair Rogers, cum laude. Daniel Lewis Soltran, magna cum laude. Colin Richard Stellato, magna cum laude, also receiving the surveying certificate. Miguel Angel Tejada. Duncan W. Vince. Samuel Kelamu Lima, summa cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Fire Science Tech, Bobby J. Asprino, Eric Borden Caffrey, summa cum laude, Mason Anthony Evangelista,
Denny B. Furtado, cum laude. Taylor L. Johnson, cum laude. Nathan E. Myers. I am pleased to announce the graduates of General Study. Paige Abella, magna cum laude. Gloria Marie Alferis, summa cum laude. Lauren Melissa Allison. Rebecca N. Almeida, cum laude, also receiving medical assisting certificate. Ebel Alphonse. Tara Lynn Amaral, cum laude. Adogu Chidi Amici. Paige B. Anacleto. Wesley James Andrade, magna cum laude. Samantha Jean Anessi. Jasmine Cortine Ash Deus, magna cum laude. Megan E. Avery, cum laude. Eileen Barreto Bacalod, summa cum laude. Bintu Nanette Bajan, magna cum laude. Hanson Evan Bergantine, summa cum laude. Chelsea L. Barnes, summa cum laude. Alexandra Beaulieu, cum laude. Neil P. Benavides. Sophia Tatiana Bennett. Jonathan Michael Bevis, summa cum laude. Kira Beth Biddle, summa cum laude. Amy Marie Blanchett. Good job, Amy. Brenna L. Bly, magna cum laude. Nicholas Ballerino, cum laude. Alexander Arce. Daniel Thomas Borden. <laughs> Eric J. Boulay, Jr. <laughs> Natasha C. Boyd, magna cum laude. Shelby Elizabeth Bravo, summa cum laude. Ariana E. Brietti. <laughs> Ashley E. Brisson, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Riley Beth Brazita, magna cum laude. Mercedes Lynn Burbank. Brittany Ann Burt. Maximina Caban. Danielle Cabral, summa cum laude. Stuart Caldwell. Andrew Augustine Camara, cum laude. Brennan T. Lambert. Bradford Charles Camara, cum laude. Jacqueline Ann Carmichael, cum laude. Amanda L. Carpenter, summa cum laude. Shana L. Carellis, magna cum laude. Kelly Carroll, summa cum laude.
Nancy Chem. Kelly C. Coelho, magna cum laude. Amanda Rose Colbert, magna cum laude. Dakota Rain Constant. Anthony G. Coppola, cum laude. Amancio Manuel Cordero. Michael David Cordero. Brianna Christine Correa. Holly Ann Correa, magna cum laude. Jessica Lee Costa, magna cum laude. Deanna Merrill Cross, magna cum laude. Chrislene DeGrasa. Mark Delaire Jr. Samantha Alyssa DaCosta. Michael R. Daly. Amanda J. Davis. Acera F. D'Almeida. Brooke Ashley Delano. Larissa Lynn DeMarco. Paulina M. D'Souza. Natalia Sheena Despinos. Janessa Lynn Diasosa. Allison Marie Demano, cum laude. Alyssa Grace Docuto, cum laude. Diane Dominguez. Ryan Donovan. Cassandra Marie Dos Santos. Kimberly A. Dos Santos, summa cum laude. Joan Kimley Dragon, magna cum laude. Kevin Raymond Drolet, magna cum laude. Alyssa Lee Ellenwood, magna cum laude. Stephen Joseph Escobar, magna cum laude. Norman Dennis Baker. Tia L. Perkins. Janaris M. Loriano. Bianca Leanne Casul. Hannah Elizabeth Leonard. Leonard, cum laude. Bethany L. Sweeney. Heidi J. Faria, magna cum laude. Rebecca Lynn Faria. Matthew H. Farmer. Tanya Lynn Fernandez. Donna Jean Ferreira, magna cum laude. Sonia Fatima Ferreira, magna cum laude. Shelby Rose Ferry, magna cum laude. Amber Lynn Figueredo, summa cum laude. Samantha R. Finneran, cum laude. Justin M. Flynn. Amanda Page Foley, magna cum laude. Jessica Medeiros Fonts, summa cum laude, also receiving thanatology and funeral services prep. Elizabeth J. Forand, also receiving thanatology and funeral, funeral services preparatory. Nicole C. Franklin, magna cum laude. Maria K. Frazes. Cum laude. 
Jessica Furtado. Also receiving General Studies Health Science Option, Thanatology and Funeral, Funeral Services Preparatory. Aiden M. Furs, summa cum laude. Desiree Gallant. Leanne Garafalas, magna cum laude. Ashley M. Gamond, magna cum laude. Jessica Lynn Glass, cum laude, also receiving thanatology and funeral service preparatory. Adam Francis Banach Gomes. Jarell Gomes. Kathleen L. Gonsi, magna cum laude. Leanne Lachey Gonzalez. Yesenia Gonzalez. Sharon Gordiano, cum laude. Haley Lauren Hadfield. Michael J. Grayson, summa cum laude. Amanda Lee Green. Amanda Gay. Stephen Darren Hall, cum laude. Also receiving emergency medical technician certificate. Danielle Elizabeth Hamill, also receiving art certificate, coding reimbursement specialist certificate. Robin Monique Hardman. Brianna Elizabeth Harris, summa cum laude. Ashton Alexandra Haskins, magna cum laude. Jessica A. Hathaway, cum laude. Asia I. Hodge, cum laude. Rebecca Therese Hodgson, magna cum laude. Juliana Brittany Howell. Anika Alana James. James M. Janelle. Pauline A. Janelle. Rachel Renee Johnson. Louisa George. Kelsey R. Julius. Matthew Philippe Karalikas. Courtney Lee Lapointe. Zachary Tyler Lapointe. Denacy Yvette Loriano, magna cum laude. Adam Lawn, cum laude. Danielle K. Lawson, magna cum laude. Patrick Lever, magna cum laude. Jennifer C. Lasses, magna cum laude. Carissa J. Levesque. Troy Joseph Lima, magna cum laude. Taylor B. Loyola. Joanna E. Marikin. Elizabeth M. Martin, cum laude, also receiving thanatology and funeral services preparatory. Jeffrey B. Martin. Jaira Maria Martinez. Wilson Carvalho Mascarenas. Ashley Michaela McCarthy, cum laude. Raven Madeiras Neves, cum laude. 
Christina Gloria Melendez, cum laude. Erica Pyers Mendez, magna cum laude. Venus M. Mendez. Kayla Marie Mendonca, cum laude. Mel D. Miller. Eleanor Ann Minahan, cum laude. Shira Ann Minor. Brittany A. Miranda. Nicole Stephanie Miranda. Haley J. Monte, cum laude. Todd Charles Moore. Sonia D. Marais. <laughs> Tiffany J. Mosier, cum laude. Amanda Kate Mata, cum laude. Alex N. Mujaber. Denise A. Masat. Summa cum laude. Shamaya Nandi Nathaniel, summa cum laude. Mary Grace O'Connor. Ethan Allen Oliveira, cum laude. Cora Jean Martin. Kayla Oliveira. Taylor Nicole Oliver, cum laude. Monique Ogechi Anoa. Sydney Grace Pacheco. Alexander Robert Pardo, magna cum laude. Sorathena Penn, cum laude. Tanya Pereira, magna cum laude. Amber L. Ferber, also receiving Thanatology and General Services Preparatory. Shelby L. Pike. Carissa Ann Pimentel. Elise M. Pina. Corey A. Panero. Megan E. Raposa. Ryan R. Reed, also receiving Thanatology and Funeral Services Preparatory. Tiffany Ann Rabello. Ashley Rigo. Amber Elizabeth Riker. Natasha L. Rivera. Haley Michelle Roberts. Claydeer Rodriguez, cum laude. Jennifer Rose Ronca, cum laude. Alexis D. Rose. Kimberly A. Rosario, summa cum laude. Nieve San Pablo, magna cum laude, also receiving general studies. Denzel Santos, cum laude. Kayla Lynn Santos, also receiving thanatology and funeral service preparatory. Felicia Ariana Salenas, cum laude. Luann James Bardella, cum laude. Joshua Paul Seekins. <laughs> Stephanie M. Serrano, cum laude. Jacob Lennon Shanning. 
Corey Ann Shields, also receiving Gerontology Certificate. Matthew A. Samoz. Grace C. Simpson, magna cum laude. Haley Sarah Sanagra. Lynn Ann Saroy. Mitchell Douglas Swass. Teresa Bana Tarwali. Amber Marie Taylor, also receiving Thanatology and Funeral Services Preparatory. Jaden T. Texera. Alexandria V. Torres. Wendy L. Torres, cum laude. Lucas I. Travasos Lamba. Esther Bassi Uka, magna cum laude. Dominique Ann Vandal, cum laude. Sarai Vasquez. Nicole Marie Vieira, cum laude. Michael Andrew Vigiano, magna cum laude. Lindsay Ann Ware, cum laude. Desmond Charles Weathersby, cum laude. Melissa Sue Wilbur, summa cum laude. Taylor Robert Wilkie. Keith M. Worsley, magna cum laude. Sarah M. Zucker. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Health Information Management. Nicole M. Floria, Florio, magna cum laude. Dina Mora Oliveira, magna cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Hospitality Management. Sean Leo Ronan. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Human Services. Kalija S. Andrade, magna cum laude, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Cindia Arsenault, magna cum laude, Human Services Certificate. Brittany Michelle Betts, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Diane F. Brazil, summa cum laude, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Sarah Buckman, magna cum laude, and Human Services Certificate. Jennifer Butterworth, cum laude, also Human Services Certificate. Nancy Calixte, cum laude, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Christina M. Sermonara, magna cum laude, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Jennifer DeCunha, magna cum laude, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Mark Arthur Dallaire Sr., also receiving Human Services Certificate. Kimberly De Silva, summa cum laude, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Versana C. Fernandez, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Natalie C. Granham, magna cum laude, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Wendy Gray, summa cum laude, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Dolores A. Hardy, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Mercedes Maria Lozano, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Joshua D. Martell, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Lucy F. Matthias, Joshua D. Medeiros, magna cum laude, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Donna Marie Melcher, summa cum laude, also receiving Human Services Certificate. 
Nicholas Pacheco Mendanza, cum laude, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Ashley Nicole Miller, cum laude, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Regina Bridget Moore, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Luisa Navarro, magna cum laude, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Tomika S. Nobri, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Nicole Page Nunes, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Sally F. Pardo, cum laude, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Michael W. Santos, cum laude, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Nicole E. Shelton, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Ludmila Maria Vaz Silva, cum laude, and also receiving Human Services Certificate. Morgan Lee Stockwell, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Tara Jean Sullivan, magna cum laude, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Marlene Patricia Sylvia, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Kayla Marie Tavares. Caitlin Elizabeth Uzzle, summa cum laude, also receiving Human Services Certificate. Sue Winokur, summa cum laude, also receiving Gerontology Certificate and Human Services Certificate. Paige Marie Young, summa cum laude, also receiving Human Services Certificate. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Liberal Arts, Maria A. Beltran Franco, cum laude. Colleen S. Boswell. Johanna Elizabeth Boynton, magna cum laude. Jillian Joy Braga. Ariana Joy DeBarros. Caitlin Dempsey, magna cum laude. Christopher Dix, magna cum laude. Anna Rose Flynn, summa cum laude. John Albert Gomes. Liliana Jimenez. Nathan Jope, cum laude. Jennifer Margarita Luperon. Alyssa Marie O'Toole. Cassie L. Perry, cum laude. Ariana Branchino Chaves, summa cum laude. Crystal R. Peters. Caroline Teresa Ann Roosh, magna cum laude. Justin T. Ryan, cum laude. Ryan J. Stopka, magna cum laude, also receiving general studies. Kevin Michael Thompson, magna cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Life Sciences. Elizabeth Mary Amaral, summa cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Nursing. Nicole Beth Aguiar. Courtney Elizabeth Arnold, cum laude. Holly Baptista, also receiving Thanatology and Funeral Services Preparatory. Jessica Barboza. Rachel Elizabeth Baxter, magna cum laude. Jessica Lorraine Belazaire. Ashley Lynn Blanchard, cum laude. Derek Joseph Booten. Richard S. Brow, Jr., cum laude. Oladani Janet Ibimbola.
Magali Giaconda Kalia. Rhonda M. Kamara. Lindsay May Cordero, magna cum laude. Alyssa Starr Estrella. Tracy Cooley, summa cum laude. Ryan T. Gregg, cum laude. Jessica Ann Henricks, cum laude. Ashley Medeiros. Kerry Lee Medeiros, also receiving General Studies Health Science Option and, Ger and Gerontology Certificate. Nicole L. Mello. Josiah D'Souza Monero, cum laude. Neil Magnus Miranda. Rosa Maria Mitchell. Kevin Franco Patricio, cum laude. Priscilla Pont, magna cum laude. Sean Douglas Pont, cum laude. Cheyenne Marie Rigo. Rebecca Jean Santos. Tara L. Silva, cum laude. Katrina M. Simmons, magna cum laude. Keith A. Souza, cum laude. Rachel L. Thomas, cum laude. Joshua David True, magna cum laude. Alicia Page Turcott, cum laude. Lisa Almschneider. Kathy Ann D'Souza Vega, cum laude. Jamie Lynn Webb. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Occupational Therapy Assistant. Ramolda F. Aguiar, magna cum laude. Robin A. Bevilacqua, cum laude. Marisa Boucher, cum laude. Brandy Cooper, cum laude. Kirsten Alexis Dawson, summa cum laude. Kelly M. Faria. Amanda Lynn Kinneberg, magna cum laude. Sarah Jean Manchester, magna cum laude, also receiving general studies health science option. Katie H. Martinez Smith, summa cum laude. Fatima C. Martins, magna cum laude. Marianne M. Rezik. Summa cum laude. Jade Alexandra Shadburn, magna cum laude. Lynette Solar, magna cum laude. Also receiving general studies health science option. Kathy M. Souza, magna cum laude. Courtney Marie Todman, summa cum laude. Also receiving general studies health science option. Elizabeth Vieira, magna cum laude. Kerry Ann Walsh, magna cum laude, also receiving general studies health science option. Jessica L. Wilding, magna cum laude, also receiving developmental disabilities certificate. I'm pleased to announce the graduates of office administration, Jessica Lynn Bento, also receiving Medical Administrative Practices Certificate. Fernanda Bochas, also receiving General Studies. Carissa Marie Caban. Ashley N. Coutinho, cum laude. Selena M. DeMello, also receiving Medical Transcription Certificate. Jennifer Lee Ferreira, also receiving Medical Administrative Practices Certificate. Patricia Farini, 
also receiving Medical Administrative Practices Certificate. Jesse Lynn Florent. Kara L. Gaborio, also receiving Administrative Assistant Certificate and Office Support Certificate. Kara Shea Glossop. Ashley Elizabeth Miguel, also receiving Office Technology Management Certificate. Danya Montiel, also receiving Administrative Assistant Certificate and Office Support Certificate. Tasha Marie Raposo, also receiving Administrative Assistant Certificate and Office Support Certificate. Don Smith. Tia M. Snyder. Jules Marie Sturgeon. Lindy Lee Westgate. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Paralegal Studies. Stephanie Elizabeth Amgott, magna cum laude, also receiving Paralegal Studies Certificate. Audra Hale. Carissa L. O'Donnell, cum laude, also receiving Paralegal Studies Certificate. Wendy Andrea Poluch also receiving Paralegal Studies Certificate. Cynthia L. Raposa, magna cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Veterinary Healthcare, Deanne Gilmore Angel, summa cum laude. Ashley L. Belanger. Lisa M. Copeland, cum laude. Monica Lee Hartford. Sheena L. Heggs. Heather Ann Silvera. Jessica Jane Sylvia. Molly D. Tribu. Michelle Ann Zygmunt, also receiving general studies. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Coding and Reimbursement Specialist Certificate of Achievement. Liseka Arzola. Anne Marie Souza. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Developmental Disabilities Certificate of Achievement, Jessica A. Fontaine. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Law Enforcement, Tyler Moniz. Adam Edward Rose. Sonia M. Dutra. Medical Administrative Practices, CTEC. Amber L. Mello. Edna A. Tierney. Nicole Marie Lupino. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Office Support. Kimberly Maria Louise. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Portuguese English Community Interpreting Certificate of Achievement, Anita Barris. Rosa M. Costa. Delita C. Dos Santos. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Small Business Certificate, Stephanie Rodriguez. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Thanatology and Funeral Service Preparatory Certificate of Achievement, Melanie K. Bonneau. Norma I. Figueroa. Tammy A. Furtado. 
Desiree Michelle Maria Grassa. Lemari Jopiz. Sharice S. Owens. Michael Flores Rigo. Patricia Stewart, also receiving Humanities Mass Transfer Program Option. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Gerontology Certificate, Robert Stephen Chase. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Paralegal Studies Certificate of Achievement, Maria Pia Paiva. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Web Design Certificate of Achievement, Joseph R. Travis. Now is the time of our last lecturer who said this is the time for the cheer. Let's hear it from the graduate. Congratulations. You all worked very hard for this. Before we have the recessional, I want to invite you to join us at the reception in the Commonwealth College Center immediately following these exercises. And I'll be available for individual photographs as well. In addition, our beautiful Grimshaw Goodowitz Art Gallery is open today, and I invite you to uh, see the wonderful exhibit and the outstanding uh, facility that we have. Now you are officially alumni of Bristol Community College, which brings you great benefits and great responsibility. Because those who have come before you, your degree or certificate carries with it the great reputation of the college and will open doors for you. In return, I invite you to support those who come after you by providing support for the British Community College Foundation. Like Chair Marshall, this is my final official comm commencement. I wish you all the best. You can go anywhere from BCC. And I must say, this is the most a wonderful group. Uh, our BCC family is the most wonderful group I've ever worked with. And I can't believe it. And I can't believe I'm ending my career with a preposition. <laughs> I now declare a close to these proceedings of the 50th annual commencement at Bristol Community College. Congratulations.